Hi guys, it's Jelly, and today I want to talk about some items that I picked up with the Sephora sale that's going on right now. So I really wanted to um, get this video out quickly because the last time that I did a haul of the Sephora sale in November, a couple of my subscribers were like, oh, I wish I had seen this earlier um, because they saw some items that they would have wanted to try. So I'm going to record this today, edit today, get it up. So let's get right into it. I'm so excited about the first product. I got a good mix of like skincare and makeup. So for the makeup items, I will be doing swatches. But let's start with the skincare item. This is the single, like this item is what I was the most excited about. And it is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. And it says that it quenches, moisturizes, and illuminates. And I did try it today under my makeup. So this is like a lightweight moisturizer. It has really, really good ingredients. If you guys have been hanging out on my channel for a while, you know that I love um, the Paula's Choice website. Um, Paula's Choice has their own skincare and makeup products, but they also rate many different brands under their Beautypedia. And this whole brand got really, um, I don't even know if there's anything that didn't get five stars. This got five stars. Um, the ingredients in it are just supposed to be so good for your skin. There's no fragrance. There are no irritating ingredients. They're irritating, dehydrating um, alcohols. It's just I was really excited to try it. And if you guys watched my full face um, makeup routine last month, you'll know about this product. This is the Marcel Hydra C um, Ultralight Mattifying Fluid. I wanted something that was like a little bit more moisturizing than this um, to try under my makeup for certain days, even though I still love this. This is kind of like moisturizing and mattifying in one because it has silica. And I don't know, I also, more importantly, I like get this shipped from Canada and it's a whole situation. So it, I was thinking it would be nice to find an alternative for that in case it gets discontinued or just in case the availability changes, it's already not the easiest thing for me to get. So I tried this so far, I do like it. I'm interested to see, I use like two pumps. I'm interested to see if I use maybe three pumps, if that could even um, function as my nighttime moisturizer, especially in um, the warmer months when it's not so dry. Um, I'm curious to see how that does. So I was really excited to um, try that and I'm excited to continue using it. Um, it seems like a keeper. I almost forgot to open this up and show it to you. So it is in this um, packaging and it has a pump. And I remember somebody saying, oh, I wish they had explained how to open it. I think they even said they might have broken theirs. And I was like, uh-oh, because sometimes when things are hard to figure out how to open, I really struggle. But I just kind of, I don't know, just kind of worked itself out. And look at this. Ah, how cool is that? It's like a pop-up pump. So I just think this product is, like, innovative in every way. Like, the ingredients are so good for your skin, and the packaging is awesome. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Keeping up with skincare, um, I this is a restock. I really like this Shiseido facial cotton. You get like a hundred pads, and these are just really, really. They're much softer than like the average cotton pad you would get from Target or whatever. And my friend Maya told me about these, and I really, really love them. So I got two packs, and I, I just, I really stock up with these Sephora sales. Like, I wait to purchase things discounted and so that's why when I these sales come around I get so much stuff so anyway what else is skincare okay so we got this does not look that good guys sometimes <laughs> I feel like Sephora sometimes they rush during these sales because one of these sales I had so much stuff that was damaged like look at this box right now it seems okay in there so I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that slide but they just be throwing stuff like this box is so big and they threw everything into it like I don't even know but this is the moisturizer I've been using for quite some time I've gone through several tubes of this this is the Clinique Super Rescue Antioxidant Night Moisturizer and I get the one for a combination oily to oily skin and I really like this um I have I just I think it's a really good moisturizer it's um very moisturizing but it also doesn't feel like too heavy. I feel like it's still on my skin in the morning when I wake up. Um, but yeah. 
that's just a restock. This is also, this is another restock. And um, this is the, Feru the sorry, I'm all over the place. Let me pull it together. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Ferulic Acid and Retinol Brightening Solution. And this is my retinol treatment, basically. I'm using it right now. And um, my bottle is lasting me a good amount of time. I think I picked it up with a sale in November. Um, and I try to use it every night. And I still have like over half of it left, but I wanted to get one to put in reserve. And I also use the Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. And I use this under a moisturizer, but um, it seems, I guess it's pretty similar to the other, you know, product, the one that I put on my whole face, but it kind of does dry to like more of a tacky finish than the one that goes all over my face. So I kind of feel like it holds up well. It like sets on its own and then I put moisturizer over it. And I kind of, I have this thing sometimes when I'm layering skincare when I'm like, am I rubbing off the last thing I put on? And the way that that dries and kind of sets, it makes me feel like it's still there. So some people would probably be like, just use the thing you use on your face and just also put it under your eyes. But I buy the two different products. And they used to be in a duo on the Sephora website, but they seem to have discontinued that, unfortunately. Okay, so now, yeah, the rest of this is makeup pretty much. So, this is another restock. This is the, like almost everyone's familiar with this. This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. And I got two of these huge ones um, because I have like this much left of the bottle that I bought last time. Um, I think it's a really good product, but I personally only use it on synthetic hair brushes because I feel like... It's kind of intense and I don't want to ruin um, my natural hair brushes by drying them out. Some people do use it on their natural hair brushes, but I'm just like being cautious. So I got two of those. I also got um, a bunch of beauty blenders. I got like four beauty blenders and I just like the original pink ones. I feel like I tried that pure one that's white a while ago and it wasn't the same texture and I also feel weird about the black one I don't know I just like the pink I like the original pink I got four of those hoping that they'll that'll carry me into like November when the next sale is and I also got this little um four pack of the mini beauty blenders these kind of get a bad rap and I feel like they're smaller than people expect sometimes so let me give you a reference this is a Beauty Blender original, and these are the minis. So it's pretty small, but I think maybe some people were expecting something mini. Like, I'm sorry, like in the meat. What? Why can't I talk? Maybe people were expecting something in the middle or medium size between these two. Um, but they are small, but I like them. I bought like a kit that had one and a big one, like the full size and the mini and whatever. And I like it for like... When I highlight down the bridge of my nose to blend that out, um, it's just a lot more precise than the Beauty Blender. I, I like the Beauty Blender still for like underneath my eyes and for applying foundation to my whole face. But sometimes you need something a little bit more precise. So I like it and I'm happy with the size. So I picked up this four pack and um, since color correcting is so um, huge right now, this is kind of cute the way they did it. Um, it's supposed to be like a peach color, a green, a lavender. It's supposed to be based on um, color correcting. So I thought that's kind of cute, but I got that. I also, one more beauty blender product. I tried, um, I decided to try this blender cleanser solid this is the beauty blenders um basically bar version of their cleanser it's it's a it's a bar soap in here and a lot of people say that it works better than the liquid i feel like a liquid sounds more convenient even though people are like oh this is more travel friendly like i guess for airplanes or whatever but um i really like being able to pour something out and not having like a wet bar just sitting there but people claim this works really well they also changed the ingredients in the liquid cleanser and it now has either lavender oil or lavender extract and that's something that I do not put on my skin because it's an irritant eh, so I decided to try this um a few more items so let me try to crack 
into these um, products off camera. These are the Nude Sticks. And it's like a lipstick crayon. It's actually called the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil because it's meant to be used on the lips or the cheeks. And this packaging is interesting. So let me open these up and I'll do some swatches. Okay, so I decided to try the shades Kiss, Stiletto, and Royal, top to bottom. And so this is Kiss, Stiletto, and Royal. And um, Kiss is actually on my lips right now. The colors are really pretty. It's like um, this pinkish color, sort of a pinkish red. It looks more melon like when you look at it, but when I swatch it, it's almost like a pink red, which is what I was hoping for. And then sort of like this kind of like just solid brick red sort of shade. Um, so those are nice and feels pretty good on my lips, just slightly tacky, but I actually drank some water already and they hold up pretty well. So it goes on as like a creamy sort of matte, but then it kind of sets a bit tackier. Um, okay, we are almost done. I actually decided to pick up the Anastasia brow scissors and they look like this. And I already had some scissors by Tweezerman, I think it was, yeah. But I decided to try these because I've been wanting them ever since I tried the Anastasia tweezers. The Anastasia tweezers, like, blew me away. Tweezerman is what I had always used, but um, the Anastasia just um, arrived. Like, they're so sharp and they really adhere to the hair. It makes for more painless tweeze because they grab the hair so well. I think when you have tweezers that um, don't grab the hair well enough, um, you'll have trouble getting smaller, finer hairs. And also, it's sort of like the tweezer pulls and slips a little bit before it actually manages to pluck the hair out. So you're feeling more of that pull as opposed to like a clean shh. So um, that's why I tried the brow scissors and I hope that I love them as much as I love the tweezers. And I also got a restock of my favorite liquid eyeliner and it's the Kat Von D ink liner in black or she calls it Trooper. Um, it's a felt tip liner and I love it. I love it a lot more than the tattoo liner which is like a calligraphy brush tip. I like the felt tip. It builds up pigment fast and it's really really good. And other than that, I just have this 100 point perk, and this is the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. And I'm always on the hunt for good mascara, so I decided to try that out. That's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're interested in picking up any of the things that I've picked up or what you're interested in. Um, my makeup looks kind of weird today because I tried a new concealer, and it looks okay in person. Even though I was like, I don't know if this is my favorite. But on camera, it just looks really strange. Um, so I'm sorry about that. And my hair is kind of a long story. I basically did a twist out on my relaxed hair. And I kind of have mixed feelings about how it came out. But I was like, no. I think it's cute enough that I don't have to push it back into my ponytail. I think we can try to make it work. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye.